What's up, YouTube? It is IMAX Plays, and we are back with another video. Baseball 9 just had an update, 1.6.0. We will be covering what they added to the game with some gameplay in a second. Um, before we get the video started, guys, make sure you smash that like button, drop a comment, and let me know what videos you guys are interested in seeing next. Whether it's a new player, whether it's responding to comments, whatever it is, guys, drop that comment and let me know. Let's get into this video. So, in the update, they did add some new bunting motions, and now you're able to switch from left to right-handed swinging at the plate if you are a switch hitter. Switch hitter does cost a bit of gems. As you can see, switching to right-handed will be 16,000 coins, but making your batter switch is 230 gems, so it does cost quite a bit, but we're going to go ahead and check that out. We do have one batter, I believe, that's a switch hitter. But also, before we get headed into the gameplay, I want to bring another legend to the squad. So far, the legends we have on the team range from Hank Aaron, as you guys can see here. We also have Babe Ruth. Um, Pitching-wise, not sure if we have any. Is Mariano Rivera a legend? Is it too early? I'm not sure, guys. You guys can correct me in the comments. But yeah, so far we have about two or three legends, and we're going to bring the third or fourth to the squad. So let's go ahead and get into the customization of that. As you guys can see, we are wearing Dodger blue uniforms with the Brooklyn B on the hats. So if you guys haven't guessed already, I know we've been talking about this for a long time. And I said I was going to wait until Jackie Robinson day, but that seems too far away. I kind of want to do it now and bring him to the squad. So we will be replacing our second baseman, DJ LeMayhew, and turning him into Jackie Robinson guys he's actually already number 42 already I think it's because I forgot to change it last time but yeah Jackie Robinson will be coming to the squad we will be resetting his stats and fixing up his attributes and making him as fast as possible because I want him to get the most stolen bases this season so let's go ahead and find Jackie Robinson a face you know the customization here kind of sucks they don't really give you too many options I wish they would give you more, but maybe they will in the next few updates, guys. But for now, we're going to have to find one that suits him best. Really, none of these kind of do. Like, I mean, I would like a more serious face for Jackie Robinson, but who knows, guys? Like I said, maybe in the next few updates. But for now, I think we'll take this one right here. All right, so I would say Jackie Robinson had an open batting stance with his hands high up with the bat so let's see what we can find for him something like this maybe more closed a little bit but he definitely held a high bat so let's keep looking i kind of like this one for him what do you guys think actually this one might be perfect he did kind of lean forward like towards the pitcher and held his bat back a little bit. I think we're gonna go with the open 10, guys. So now that we got his customization out of the way, let's go ahead, reset his attributes, and upgrade him to the fastest possible speed that we can. And that means giving him the best items that he can have. So as you can see, these earrings right here give his speed plus five. They do cost 600 gems. Let's go ahead and get those guys. All right, his max level cap is at 120. Let's go ahead and bump that up to 125. And let's upgrade him to 120 for sure. Give him those 35 extra attribute points. Um, as you can see, he has 140 power as of now, 113 speed. But I want to give him like 150 speed and no less. And we'll redistribute his points how we see best. But let's go ahead and get that. 200 gems will be the cost to reset his attributes. And as you can see now, we have 1,999 attribute points to work with. Let's give him that speed, guys. All right, so there's three skills that give him a speed boost. Deception, Tenacious Play, and Concentration. I think we'll be going with Tenacious Play only because concentration only gives him that stat boost when the team is losing. 
And most likely, since we won't be losing too often, I'm going to need that speed and batter's eye boost the entire game. So let's go ahead and get this one. All right, let's get right back to speeding him up a bit. Let's distribute the rest of his points and see what we can do with him. Alright, so I think I'm going to do something like this. Low fielding, low throwing, and we'll focus on batter's eye and the rest on batting. And just make them as fast as we can, guys. All right, guys, so here's what we're looking at so far. Let's go ahead and see what it looks like once we apply these points. So now he's sitting at 151 speed, 117 power, 117 contact, and 109 batter's eye. I can't wait to see how he does in the game, guys. Let's see how many stolen bases we can get. So I'm already noticing something new in the update. As you guys can see at the bottom right of the screen, it does show the stadium name and your next three games that you're going up against right next to the ready button that's kind of new guys all right guys so as we head up to the plate with mookie Betts, one of our fastest base runners play ball so let's go ahead and test out the new features that they added to baseball nine guys we got mookie Betts coming up to the plate one of our fastest base runners so let's test out that new bump feature with him play ball let's cycle through the batting types so you got contact swinging power swinging bunt and drag bunt and if you guys didn't notice when you bunt it's already set to the bunt position letting the pitcher know you're going to try to bunt your way on base whereas drag bunt he does not do anything so let's go ahead and try drag bunt out but we won't swing so as you can see he kind of motions and now you guys can see it gives you the option to actually move your bat when you're bunting so this time let's go ahead and attempt to actually bunt as you can see you can control it and try to go right down the line with it out. we did get out but as you guys can see if you do have runners on base you can really force the runners to move over when you're drag bunting all right let's see if we can steal some bases or if we can bring the runner home with the drag bunt So let's try to steal third if we can. Stride. Same. And we can bring him home with the drag bunt. We'll use that as an example, guys. So we're gonna signal the third base runner to steal home. And we're gonna bunt. Strike. Out. And we failed. Alright, let's try to get on base. Alright, so he can go to second, but we're gonna keep him on first because we're gonna steal second and third on them with Jackie Robinson and test his speed. So there he goes, he makes a break for second. Save. He is way ahead of the throw. Let's go ahead and seal third as well. Ball. Way ahead Save. of the throw, he is gone. So now that we got some speed on the bags, now we can try to steal home or drag button his way home. So let's try that. He is in there guys. Jackie Robinson is a speed demon around the bases. Let's go ahead and substitute Tatis for Babe Ruth since he is my only switch hitter. And we could try out the new feature that they added. So he is coming up to the plate as a lefty. Let's see how we can swap him out. Okay, so as you can see over here, above the cycle button, you got the right swing. So as you guys can see, wait, you gotta hold it down and they'll switch over to the other side. And it doesn't look like there's a limit. You can switch as many times as you want. Strike. So that's pretty cool, guys. So if you do spend the 230 gems to make your batter a switch hitter, you now have the option to switch between left and right. All right, so that was it for today's video, guys. Just a quick video on the update. 
and our new player Jackie Robinson. Like I said, we will be going for the most stolen bases with him. Currently, Mookie Betts is in the lead with 12, but we are only like 16 games in. I think he will be taking the lead. He is currently in fifth place with four stolen bases in his first game. So, like I said, guys, I think he will be taking the lead and taking the title at the end of the season. IMAX plays and we are out of here, guys. Thank you for watching the video. Peace out.